Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I'm Trey Ratcliffe. I'm here to review the new ScreenFlow. I love this tool. Absolutely love it. And I thought I would make a recording to show you how I edit with it. Okay? It's a little Inception ScreenFlow, but just stick with me. All right, you'll get it. All right, so um, you can see here that I have um, two things going on, basically, right? I've got my screen cap right here that came out of my camera. And then up here, this is, uh, or this is my video cam, that's my screen cap right there. Now, the thing about um, the new version of ScreenFlow is you have these things called templates, okay? So what was nice is I was able to record these things and it immediately put it into these, these little boxes for me, all right? Um, it just saves you a little bit of time because this is a format I often like to use. Um, so now I'm just going to start making changes and some fixes. Okay, so this is too big right here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna shrinkify it a little bit, grab the corner, take it down, like it about right there. Okay, um, this is leftover text from my just when I made the template. I'm gonna call this uh, uh, "Get My New Festival." No, here uh, I'll say "Go to Store Dot Stuck in Customs." Com. To grab it, I'll put an exclamation point on there so it seems more exciting. And uh, I'll say tray, trays new, fest, trays new fest, festival presets for light room. I could spell it correctly. Room and luminar. By the way, if you guys don't have Luminar, you got to get it. I'll put a link to it down there. I position that like that. Okay, now let's watch. See, they're gonna. Oh, hello, my friends. How are you doing today? I'm gonna show you my new uh, festival presets that work in. Pretty cool, eh? Too easy. And you you can see how these were kind of typed in. There's different ways you can have them. So watch when they they come. It looks like a typewriter oh, typing them in. Hello, my friends. How are you doing today? There's a lot of different ways to do reveals on those things. Okay, let's shrink these things up a little bit because we got a little bit too much. Uh, too many layers in here. So you see, we got uh, these. These are the text layers right here, and this is the my video. Okay, that's my screen background, and then you have these colorful rays in the background, right? And if you have the the full subscription or whatever, you have tons of these backgrounds you can use. Okay, this is not an in-depth tutorial where I go into all that stuff, but it's, this tool is really easy to use. I think you'll see. Okay, so here I bloviate for a while. Different quick examples here. Uh, actually, I like to make myself a little bit bigger in the beginning. Okay, like that. We'll get started with this, babe. Does she look like Gal Gadot? That seems like a good place to transition. Okay, so I have this kind of leftover transition here. Um, I'll delete it for now, and I'll, I'll make I'll make a new one. Okay, so here, what I want to happen is I want to go to the video. So I'm going to add an action, okay? And in this action, I just want to shrink it like this because I want to be tiny in the corner, way down here, maybe above the presets, okay? Then for her, or for the main screen, I'm going to make another action, and I'm going to make it full screen. And if you click this little brick here, or this little cube, uh, I can say reset to default, and it gets nice and big. Like that, right? Now, we don't need these titles anymore. They could go away. So I'll slide these back here. Yes. Oops. Slide back. Come on, Ratcliffe. Come on, Butterfingers. What's wrong with you? There we go. There we go. Good job, Ratcliffe. Okay, so now watch what happens. Looks like Gal Gadot, Burning Man. Um, yeah, so let's try just some different, you can see the different presets down here at the bottom. Okay, now. I am going to go to that screen, and I'm going to turn on this thing right here. Uh, it's under this thing, it's like a monitor, and this is one thing I like to do with my things. I like to say, uh, uh, turn, do click effect of radar. That time, that way, every time I click, you see a little ping come out. Okay. Okay. The different ones look pretty cool, right? Um, let me see. Let's go with sandstorm attack. I've got a lot of different kind of sandstormy kind of ones. Okay, so here, what I might want to do is while I'm scrolling down there, I think it might be more interesting to zoom in so you can see closer down there. So I'm going to go to 
this one to my video. I'm going to say add an action. I'll make it big. Whoa. Pretty big there. In first play. Like kind of sandstormy kind of ones you can see down here, right? Because I think I was just inspired by. Oops. So let's go back here. Because we'll say that background runs out. I could have extended it, but I won't. And I say action again, and then I'm going to go back to the defaults. Okay. Yeah. Right. Because I think I was just inspired by all the sandstorms I was in there, but all kinds of different things, all kinds of different frequencies. Yeah, cool. Yeah, good to go. And remember, one cool thing about Luminar, I'll put a link to Luminar too if you don't have it, is one neat thing their presets do is you can adjust the amount. So, so see here I'm talking about the amount. This is another cool thing. I can go up here to the callout area and I say click uh, an action. Okay. So then what's going to happen is, so see that little much, thing? I can drop the preset down like 50%. So it's very tiny and stuff like that, right? So you can uh, make it bigger, right? Increase the border size. Uh, I like to reduce the uh, opacity of the background. Um, and actually, I've already recorded all this. This I, I like what I like. So I already have this up here. So I click there. I say trade call out one, and it sets all the sliders to that. Okay. So now now watch. So if it's too much, I can drop the preset down like fifty percent. Pretty cool, eh? Got it. Okay, Too easy. Now. And if you want more call out time, you just grab the edge and move it over. Okay. But it was a good where it was. Just like that. Okay, let's work on another one. Okay. This is how you cut. Simple. I'm going to grab these two and press T. Bam. Okay, then I'm going to go find my next picture here. And then find out where I start talking. You can see where I start talking because there's a little bit of. Um, you can see the little mountain tops there, my little audio tops. Okay, now it's time for a little Tane eye candy for all the ladies out there. Okay, so right beforehand, grab those, hit T. Okay, those are highlighted, so I hit delete. And watch this, click, and then command click, delete. And it just moves it right on over. Look at that. Another one. Okay, now it's time for a little Tane eye candy for all the ladies out there, some of the guys, I guess. This one's called Astute User. That's my old uh, assistant, Tane. Look at that. Cool. Man, these presets are great. So cool. Maybe that was like a little too intense, right? So I'll, I'll dial it down a little bit. You can't dial down Tane, but you can dial down this preset. All right, next up. Man, I cracked myself up. I tell you, this is good stuff. You guys should go subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done it, by the way. If you have any questions, let me know about this tool or anything else. Um, okay, yeah, so I guess you basically get it, right? That's all there is. Um, there's other things you can do, of course. You can adjust the audio. Um, you can do all kinds of video motion stuff. Man, there's just a million things you can do. It's great. You can add, you know, you can add text. Uh, you can pull in other video sources. Uh, you get it, right? So basically when you're done, okay, um, I just go to File, um, export and then you just pick whatever settings you want you know I usually do mine up in 4k um, and you can go in and like make all your adjustments right uh, all that video jazz you know some, or you just pick some of the defaults and it'll do it for you it's too easy and too fun all right you guys I hope you enjoyed that little uh, quick uh, tutorial and review um, be sure to come on over and subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you like my wacky videos, then come to stuckincustoms.com slash passport and subscribe. I would appreciate that. And you'll get amazing videos. We have over 100 in there. Over 100. Okay. Love you guys. See you later. Bye.